Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Dungeon Maker for iOS with me, Jelenon. So last time, story mode ended abruptly with pretty much no real indicator other than the secretary. She knew something was up with these humans, and we didn't listen to her. So I think next time we try story mode, we just follow everything the secretary says. Whether or not that leads to our demise again, who knows, but it'd be fun. Uh, for now... Let's try Total War Mode. It says receive special rewards with faster play. So let's do that. So we have the Dark Lord. We don't have any of these other dudes. So yeah. Oh, we do have other dudes. And gals. Dudettes, really. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of these people. Wait, why is the Dark Lord looking locked? I guess we have to defeat the Story Mode to get him? Okay. Well, let's try Lilith, I guess. Or Elizabeth. We'll try Lilith. She's got a... It's got a heart on it, right? So that must mean she's a good person? Maybe? No? I don't know. Anyway. So, looks like you get more points or something. Higher XP. Aha. Information. Total War. Ten days pass when you play a Fate card in the Total War. You can play it for a thousand days until the Day of Reckoning. Dungeon Normal. We can add on to it, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Well, we only have a normal dungeon. What? Why did it... Okay. So, yes, we're playing with a normal dungeon. So our Dark Lord has skills and stuff that she can't use yet. Huh. So she has several mechanics, like one called Pleasure, one called Obey. Hatred to all monsters and recover life as much as life lost. Hmm. Charm people as well. Interesting. So the whip is how she generates the pleasure mechanic. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So we can't change the difficulty at the moment, right? Extra XP. No, we have to unlock it. Yep. Yeah. Alright then. And rebirth level. So most likely stuff can make this harder. Well, let's try normal. We have a thousand days, apparently. Uh, we can only choose battle here. Mm, looks like if we choose the middle path, we'll see an event in the future, so let's go this way. We have all this. I can try to whip. Let's protect our monsters, because we don't know how long they will last for. They're doing okay. Okay. Yep, and we have plenty of mana to use our whip ability. We gained 16 levels, that's pretty nice. And all of our stuff leveled up. Ooh, a bundle of 10 books, a bundle with multiple normal monsters of 5 stars or lower, a bundle of multiple facilities of 3 stars or lower. Uh, I don't know what books do, so let's try books. Okay. When monsters level up, attack notably increases with a low chance. Okay. Gives 5 corruptions to enemies inflicted with corpse explosion. No idea who does that. Dark Lord's defense increases. The best offense is a good defense. Dark Lord's Army, Chapter 2. When monsters level up, attack greatly increases at a low chance. Uh, so, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, what's the difference? Is Chapter 2 better? Or do we need Chapter 1 for Chapter 2 to matter? Well, this says greatly increases, whereas Chapter 1 says notably. So let's do Chapter 2. Oh, no, I get them all. Oh, sweet. Okay. I thought I had to choose one. Good thing I was wasting my time reading. <laughs> okay, acquired the book Principle of Electricity. Oh, looks like there were more books I didn't look at. Okay. Uh, where can I read my books? Here are our monsters. A Sahagan. Sahagan. First time I saw these was in Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. Because America. Uh, Deep Sea Spear. Damage to an enemy. Keyword Abyss gives dull to all enemies when battle starts. And increases movement speed of those enemies. Ooh, increases damage from traps. Okay. Interesting. So those are the monsters. Our books, maybe? Oh, this is the entire map. Wow. So it looks like maybe ten days pass each time. Okay, so we're going here, we're going towards the event. What's this? 
Monsters invade heroes base. We could rest, upgrade rooms, promote a monster. Read a book you own. So yeah, I think we want to head along this path. What's this thing? Elite heroes. Now let's try that. What's this? Treasure chest sounds good. Uh, then we can do this maybe. Merchant. Ah. Yeah, it might be good to head towards the merchant. Except I don't think we have enough time to reach that one. So we'll do something like this. And then I think we can reach it. No idea if highlighting this is going to be actually helpful or not. Oh, it is. Okay, good. That's a cool feature. What's this map do? That's just our dungeon. I have 102 points right now. Okie dokie. Uh, so let's choose... Dungeon. We can rest, upgrade, train, read a book. Nothing else. Let's read a book. Let's read. Yeah, that'll pay off in the long run. Can I read more books? Read that one. How many times can I read? Hmm. Earn 10 gold every day. That sounds good. Okay. So we've completed two books. We don't have shock as far as I know. Ooh, hatred. That's one of our mechanics. So we have six more readings we can do. Uh, so we can do three for that hatred. Or we can do one, two. Uh, is this one already read? Yeah. Okay. The monsters level up. Defense notably increases. So we're kind of focusing on the monsters right now. But the hatred mechanic, though, it's not bad. But we can finish two books, so I think we finish the two books so that we get more bonuses. Okay. So we finished a few books. Hopefully that was worth it. We're going to level up a lot early on, I think, so should be worth it. Huh. No idea what this event does. A blade trap, a portal summoner, a mysterious egg. Okay. Take, acquire, relic, ancient egg. That sounds cool. Uh, or we can give everybody plus 10% max life. Let's take the egg. Carefully, you took the egg into the Dark Lord's chamber. Okay. Now we must leave. So yeah, we got several events. That's cool. A magic hammer. An egg collector. Mmm. Or a roaming beast. Mmm. Uh, egg collector. The best monster will hatch from this egg. Oh, it's an egg merchant. It's not going to give us stuff. But you can pay it gold in the future to get monsters. That's good to know. Like a hero's grave, magic hammer, or abandoned smelter. Let's go to magic hammer, because I have a feeling hero's grave is another we pay something to get something. Hmm. Alright, so we found a magical hammer, lost most of its power. It will break after one last use, and it has an unknown effect. Uh, looks like we can upgrade a room. Okay. So it seems to upgrade rooms. Whoa! By 400? Yeah, that was good. It emitted a blinding light. As a result, the facility became even stronger! Yeah, so those events are definitely worth it. Uh, let's double check the cards. Um, how many event rooms am I hitting? Because they're totes worth it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's follow the path. I like that you can see that path. Take out the priestess. Help our friends. We're definitely going to have more damage against our monsters, I think. 
trying to protect our guys in front the most. So they're getting hit a lot. Thankfully, it seems like the heroes are pretty low level. But I am spamming the whip. Okay. Ooh. Looks like everybody survived. Okay, ooh, we gained 22 levels. Why, yes, I will take that. Um, a rare monster bundle. That sounds good, a bundle with two rare monsters, yeah. Arachne and Thetis, which are both Greek myths. Monster level 108 and 115, yes. Spiderweb, Faint, Sandstorm, Abysmal Curse, Disarm, and Emergency Heal. Those sound great. Okay, uh, Thetis, she has a heal. Okay, let's reset. Auto deploy. Yes, I like this, but our Sahagan. I think we get rid of you. For you. And. Well, the imp is technically better, isn't it? Hmm. Well, this has a higher star rating. Which makes me think it'll be better in the long run. Though, most likely, we'll replace all these with higher level monsters and stuff. Like Arachne and Thetis. We'll confirm that. All right, then. The invade battle. Let's see what this is like. Uh-huh. Exactly as expected. Uh, and then we have some trap rooms. Okay. So hopefully our monsters would be smart. We pay with money. That's interesting. So yeah, why wouldn't we go in with everybody? Hmm. Let's have the slimes go first. Then our big people. And invade. Yep. Alright, slimes tank for us. Then our big hitters go in. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have to stack with that play button. Oh, just fast forwards. Okay. A lot of money, so invasions are definitely worth it for the money. Uh, book bundle. We already have a bunch of books, but having more seems good. Hmm. Let's get more books. And, aha, we did get a bunch. Okay. Ten of them. So there's that electricity thing again. Number of heroes entering the dungeon has increased. That's actually pretty good for getting us more money and stuff. Okay. And another life book. Gigantified monsters attack has increased. We don't have any as far as I'm aware. The hatred is a good thing. Earn the gold. Yep. Get it all. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we can get more books. Uh, let's finally get some more facilities. Ooh, a guillotine. The lower the life of the hero, the more damage is inflicted. That's cool. Uh, gives immortality to all monsters in the room. No idea how good that is. And frenzy seems good. Okay. Guillotine. So let's put that, like, over here. Install that. What does Immortality do? Survive Fatal Attack with one life. That's cool. Uh... Well, we can upgrade the battle room. Hmm. It's a level 49. I think we like that. Whereas over here... Yeah, let's switch. Okay. Graveyard I could enhance to have 8 Immortality. That's cool. Frenzy. Hmm. We don't have a frenzy room yet, but we could do that. Let's install that here, and then we can put monsters in there, like these guys. Auto deploy. Aha! So now we're gonna want more rooms. Okay, and then anything else to install? I thought I had one more room to install. Oh, I swapped them out. That's right. Um, so apparently swapping means you get rid of that room entirely then. No, oh, I thought I'd be able to place it. Okay. Well, we're happy with that. And then we get an artifact, it looks like. Okay. Enemies under effect of Obey will receive more damage. That's one of our abilities. Armor sounds good. 
Defense to 60%. That's clearly a better relic. Got two stars. Yeah. Okay. Well, we get them all anyway. So, ha. Took that. Uh, the Sahagin took out the boss. Nice. Ooh, immediately expand the dungeon. Bloody Hammer gives extra one fury when Vampire is given. I don't think we have Vampire. Recover five empty mana crystals at the beginning of battle. So we start with five mana. We can spam our abilities. Um... Right now, we don't really have enough rooms for expanding the dungeon anyway. So let's take the Greater Mana Stone. Okay. Then we go to the dungeon. Alright, we can upgrade, we can train. Let's read a book again, because that seems super good. Okay, these are the ones we are currently continuing. Let's read this one. Okay, stand by. So, five of them... Remarkably increases at a very low chance. That's pretty good, though. Let's read it. Maybe we'll regret. Maybe we won't. I think it'll be won't. So now we have three left. We can get more gold. The hatred. Let's see. Whenever a monster dies... That means our monsters die, and we're currently giving them a lot of life. So I don't think it's going to happen very often. Maybe in the last level. When immortality is triggered, get hatred. Oh, that'd be good for our room. We have that graveyard room. Okay. Oh, we do want more heroes to enter the dungeon, so we'll train that up. All right. And then, enter the battle. All right. We're doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> Spamming the whip attack. Oh dear. Our guys in the front are probably not enjoying their day. But hey, we gained a ton of levels, got some money. Now let's get some more... Ooh, facilities, yes. Combust. Oh, now we have burn. Good. Twice the burn stat to hero that entered the room. We don't really have any monsters that give burn, though. Gives three blind heroes into the room and five defense to all monsters in adjacent rooms at the beginning of the battle. That's nice. Okay, so we would definitely want these. Uh, combust. Let's go with this one first. Right now... Uh, it would be best in the middle, but we'll put it over here. It'll still get three rooms eventually. That makes our better monsters better. What does blind do? Next attack will miss. Probably don't need that there. That only gets two rooms. The guillotine doesn't let anybody into that room. Okay, well we'll install it here. That's the best, probably. Combust is a trap. Let's put it over here. I don't know how long the burn condition lasts for. So yeah, we'll put it over here. We'll try it. Let's try Elite Battle. Hopefully we're high enough level that this works. Okay. I'm glad we have the mana for the whips. Looks like we needed it. Trying to help out the front the most. Wow, this is loud. <laughs> Whew. Well, we gained a lot of levels. The same amount of gold, though. That's interesting. Uh, ooh, more rare facilities. Yes, please. Laboratory. Ooh, okay. Four panic to all enemies in the dungeon when a hero dies in this room. That seems good. Okay. At all, and then we probably need to invest in more monsters. Um, every time an enemy enters, it's probably better up front. I don't know if this is a trap or not. Can I put monsters in there? It's a facility. Aha! So we want battle rooms on this side. Yeah, we'll do that. And then this is a facility, so we'll install it here. Auto-deploy, we have nothing to deploy there. 
We could move something. Or two somethings. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a slime and some other stuff. Okay. So over here... Yeah, we can probably put her by herself with a slime or something. And then in here, we'll put these guys. And then we'll put the last two over here. I think that'll be fine. Oh, get two immortality when a monster kills an enemy. That seems really good. A powerful monster appears from the next monster egg. We do have a monster egg. Hmm. Insignia of Terror doesn't work that much, so... Hmm. I'm tempted to go for the incubator because we have the egg, so... We can get them all anyway. What am I doing? Okay. We'll go for the normal battle because we want to do this invasion again, I think. So that fear effect is going off pretty often. And I've got a bunch of mana, so I can just spam that. Hero boss appearance. Looks like that was not enough. Okay, we can get more books. More rare facilities. More oh, monsters. Let's get some more monsters. A Minotaur Girl, a Black Knight Girl, and a Slime. Okay. Hmm. Minotaur Girl has decent stuff, but it looks like Black Knight Girl is better in everything but defense there. Hmm. And lower level. Okay. Also looks like better abilities. Hmm. We'll get all those. Auto-deploy them. Yeah, I think we're happy with that. Confirm. Okay, let's go to the treasure chest. Figure out what this does. A bundle with one boss relic and three normal relics. Well, all of them do that. So we just select one and hope we pick something good. Okay. So we expanded the dungeon. When an enemy in charm status attacks another enemy in charm status, it deals basically twice as much damage. Nice. Uh, recover three mana crystals at the beginning of battle. So now we should have eight at the beginning, which is pretty good. Increase all monsters' life by 20%. Yep. Don't mind if I do. So I think that was worth it. Let's do this invasion battle. Okay. Invade. We have a bunch of money. So we can just select everybody. We're happy with that. And invade. Yep. Not to worry about it. We are crushing normal mode. We can just... Okay. Here's normal speed. No wonder I was having to press so much. Okay. Ah, oh, that was slow. Here's normal. And then we can speed it up. A lot of gold for invasions. Definitely worth it. Uh, more facilities. Do we just go with the normal facilities or do we go with rare still? Rares are generally better. We'll take the rares. Double Giant. You can only deploy two monsters in this room, but the monsters will gigantify and get six times the life and three times the attack. Nice. And we have a book that'll give plus 40%. Okay. Meat Wagon. Once recharged, give four immortality to adjacent monsters and get seven gold. And that has a different star function. Unable to succeed or save. Recharge. Okay, it gets recharged after time or when a hero enters it. Okay. Nice. To adjacent monsters, though. Double giant. You can only deploy two monsters in this room. Let's put that here. Okay. And then we'll put the meat wagon over here. That'll help the Gigantify guys stay alive longer with the immortality and just keep dealing damage. Now let's reset. Auto deploy. Hmm. Do we like this? I think so. Confirm. We can get more books. <laughs> but we need more monsters, so we'll choose this. Reaper. Nice. Work girl. And a goblin. Okay. Yeah, get all those guys. 
auto deploy. Auto deploy you. Will you not go in? Ah, nobody else can fit. Okay, well. You can't go in the guillotine. You can't go in there. Alright. Let's see. Hidden trap shoot. When a trap kills an enemy, it will reactivate if able to do so. And mana recovery. 10% chance to recover one empty mana crystal and defeat an enemy. I'm getting a lot of mana. A monster nest. Hatchery's effect increases by 50%. I don't think we have a hatchery. It gives one charm to heroes that enter the Dark Lord's room. Uh, or expand the dungeon. Which could be good, but could also be bad. Hmm. Let's get the charm turban. Even though, hopefully, they die before they even enter the room. Yeah, no. We'll do this. Okay. We start with nine mana. We'll just spam our whip out there. Yep. I don't have any of my other abilities unlocked yet. I am assuming after this run, we will get some. Yeah, and as heroes get defeated, I am gaining mana back. <laughs> oh my dear. This is a good combo. Alright, hopefully we'll gain some research points and things. Make them go faster. I think I'm going to turn down the volume. Okay. We got more money than usual. Okay. Uh, rare facilities, more monsters. We don't need more monsters yet. Let's get some normal facilities just to see. Meditation. Eight focus to deploy monsters whenever a hero enters. What does focus do? Next attack deals. Okay. Yeah, more damage. That's good. Deployed monsters attack is increased and inflicts damage. So I think the rares are worth it. Um, more so than the normals, but if you just need to fill in spaces, yeah. Okay, let's put this one here because the room over there makes it better. So arena versus pit. Hmm. Let's do arena. Okay, and then we have a pit, which we can't place down. Okay. Auto-deploy, confirm. I like that because he's by that other room that'll buff him. And since he's alone, he's gonna need that buff. Okay, and we may call this an episode. I may uh, cut this, but I'm enjoying how fast-paced this is. Uh, let's try Roaming Beast. A huge beast that was wandering outside finds the dungeon and tries to break in. Hmm. Okay, I don't think sealing three facilities is good for us, right? Yeah, well, we want to defeat it and upgrade all of our monsters. That seems good, even if we lose some life. Nobody's even touched us, really. Yeah. So that's cool. Doesn't mean we can do that very often. The Hero's Grave, Dream is new, so is Slime Race. Hmm. Uh, let's try Dream. During a short nap, you have a dream. It feels like something is going to appear beyond the foggy landscape in your dream. So we don't have any room for the facility. Let's get a monster. Ooh. Ifrit Girl, five stars, as Medusa Girl, same thing. Um, Nightmare Girl. Phoenix Girl, that sounds cool. Hmm. So it looks like we could choose one of anything, almost? Phoenix Girl is better than Phoenix. That's interesting. Reaper Girl, also an S rank. Five stars. So nothing higher than five stars. Uh, let's get Ifrit Girl or Phoenix Girl, I think. Because they're both S and they're both fire. Let's go with Ifrit Girl. She has burn, yep, keyword flame, skill fire dance, inflicts seven damage and apply six burn to the attacker. Okay, so we can actually check, that's good. I thought it might pick it immediately. So reviving flame, at the time of death inflict a bunch to all enemies in the room and revive with full life. Only activated once per battle. So she's a good final guardian, prevents life recovery. Okay. 
And she has the flame already. But she doesn't apply burn all the time. 210, 43, 19. 285, 39, 20. So she just has better life and a little bit more defense. Yeah, we'll go with Ifrit Girl. Uh, I don't think she'll be very high level, right? Oh, 71. Let's put her in with the Gabo. Right? Oop. Oop. Okay, that way she has a little bit of help. Okay. Yeah. You wake up the moment the thing emerged from the other side of your dream, and what you saw in your dream is sitting right in front of you. Hmm. Kind of weird. Emerald Spider, Bloody Portal, Portal Summoner. We have money now. So Portal Summoner is probably a good idea, but I want to see what the Emerald Spider is. Spider with Deadly Poison is guarding precious treasures. Max life minus 50, acquire the relic Greenstone. Oh, we can take a look at it. Gives 10 poison to heroes that enter the dungeon. Interesting. Offers sacrifice. Remove one monster. Oh, so we get it either way. Yeah, we'll take the max life. Down. That shouldn't be that bad. Oh, it looks like it actually hurt us, too. I thought I would just do the max life, but nope. Okay. So, Ancient Egg has transformed into Relic Elder Dragon. Convert Relic Elder Dragon. So, that's a relic. Hmm. Okay. Where do I look at my relics again? Okay, and we can see kind of all the possible stuff. That's cool. Hmm. I don't think I can buy any of these. These are our monsters. Okay. Recipes. Oh, we can combine monsters into better monsters. Hmm. Did not know this. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Well then. Reading. Okay, I don't see our relic list, so we won't worry about it. I think we're going to call this an episode, do you, have you? Well, well, we're pretty close to the end. But yeah, we'll call it an episode. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Dungeon Maker. Subscribe to see more iOS gaming videos. Comment below on what you think the coolest monster so far has been. And have a great day.